uh, our city council member, Bill Rosendahl, who has worked so very hard to help hotel workers along Century Boulevard to organize those hotels and to pass the living wage ordinance that they are now benefiting from. He's been a fighter for us for all these years. Please welcome Bill Rosendahl. First, I want to thank Judy Chu for her leadership in Washington and throughout this great country on all the issues impacting all of us. She is one of those progressives who says to Barack Obama, you got to remember the middle class, you got to remember the working class, you got to support the democracy. Thank you, Judy. I'm wearing a tie that has the American flag on. I'm wearing it for two reasons. In memorial tomorrow to 9-11, to those brave Americans that gave their lives, and to the tens of thousands of people that have also died in those countries over the last 10 years. And I'm wearing it for this. Why? Because this is democracy at its best. It's the people saying, this is my country, and we need to all be treated equally and fairly. That is what America is all about. Yeah. And what we see happening with the Hyatt is typical of many of those in the Republican Party. It's all about greed at the expense of the worker. Yes, yes this is a national strike. And we're here because this is a national issue. We're all connected. The workers at the Hyatt should get not only a living wage, they should get quality health care, and their workload should be human, not made to destroy people and hurt people and then turn them out and bring in new people. No, that is the worst thing you can do. So listen to Hyatt. Hyatt is saying we're taking advantage of this recession. We're just going to turn our people over and over so no one gets seniority, no one makes more money, and then burden them with more than they can handle so that we can bring in new ones. I know you. All right. Their profit and their bottom line is it ex at the expense of the people, of the workers. We're standing here in solidarity to all Americans who are feeling the squeeze of this economic pitch. And we say to these conservative, grubby money people, if you do this, you're gonna destroy our nation. And our nation is strong because we have a strong middle class and a strong infrastructure of people. So we're here to say, God bless you all here, United Here, and the union organizers of this Hyatt. Onward and upward, and let's keep fighting until we get justice for all of us. Thank you.